Welcome back to the Tales from the Apocrypha. I've got a fun one for you guys today. I found a second Apocrypha witness for what Jesus looked like. I've said it many times. I don't care if Jesus is black, white, brown, green, or blue. We should not be arguing about those kinds of things because it really doesn't matter. But if we're going to, we might as well bring up what history says. In Revelation 1, Jesus' heavenly form is described. It said his hair was like white wool, his eyes were like the flames of a fire, and his feet were like burnt brass refined by the furnace. I think we can all agree your heavenly form is not your earthly form. People hear burnt bronze and they're like, oh, he was black or he was brown or white wool, he was white. Well, this is made of burnt brass and it doesn't look black to me. Nor does having hair like white wool mean he was a white guy. This is a letter from Pilate to Tiberius Caesar describing Jesus and the whole events surrounding the crucifixion. It was preserved in the Library of Rome and its validity was verified in 1935. And all the major events described in it are confirmed by the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of Nicodemus, and the writings of Josephus. This is where Pilate describes seeing Jesus. A young man, it was said, appeared in Galilee, preaching with a noble unction, a new law in the name of God who had sent him. At first, I was apprehensive that his design was to stir up the people against the Romans. But my fears were soon dispelled. Jesus of Nazareth spoke rather as a friend of the Romans than of the Jews. I saw a young man addressing the multitude. I was told that it was Jesus. This I could easily have suspected. His golden colored hair and beard gave him the appearance of a celestial aspect. He appeared to be about 30 years old. Never have I seen a sweeter and more serene countenance. What a contrast between him and his hearers with their black beards and tawny complexion. I encourage you all to read this. It's very interesting. Let's jump over to the second witness. This is called the Publius Lentulus. Its authenticity is debated, but there's no shortage of manuscripts. We have at least 75 of these. There has appeared in these times and indeed is still living a man of great power named Jesus Christ. He is a man of average size and pleasing appearance, having a countenance that commands respect, which those who behold may love or fear. He has hair the color of an unripe hazelnut, smooth almost to the ears, but below his ears curling and rather darker and more shining hanging over his shoulders and having a parting in the middle of his head, according to the fashion of the Nazarenes. His brow is smooth and quite serene, his face without wrinkle or blemish, and a slight ruddiness makes it handsome. He has a full beard of the color of his hair. His eyes are grayish and clear. This is the Shroud of Turin and a painting from a little girl that had a prophecy about Jesus. I can see the connection, but you decide for yourself.